Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff, and thanks for all the great comments last episode. Apparently, charcoal is an important thing. <laughs> I did a playtest of the game before I recorded this series just to remind myself how to play, and during that test I did not run out of charcoal. We, we kept going, I built both the traders and no problem, but I took my time, I'm, I'm a pretty patient player. Um, this time, for some reason, the laborers just didn't flock in and refill it like before. Something else must have been going on. So, I don't know if they were... Oh, they were stocking this guy with with wood. 3,000 planks for the longest time. And then we moved the thatch over. So, I think it took up all of our laborers for two big jobs. And then they went in and planted or harvested or no planted last time we're only 15 months into the game i mean think about that we started in march of 21 we're in july of 22 and look what these guys have accomplished in 15 months that's a lot of work i've been doing renovations for the net last several years at home and i know what work is and that's a lot to get done in 15 months <laughs> So I'm not too concerned about the charcoal just yet. When I did it before, I had built the brickyard later. You know, after a few more houses, I got into that to get bricks started. And with that, I built the second charcoal. And just because I didn't want them traveling from here all the way over to the brickyard to, uh, you know, to have to transport it. But I had never really thought about it as a trading commodity. That would justify a second charcoal sooner than using it just for industry. Because right now, there's there's actually plenty here once they get around to doing the work. There's another 3,000 in there, and we've got 4,000 in here. I do have the three blacksmiths, so they're going to start putting out the the nails again at a lot faster rate than, than we've seen it in this series. It's only just recently we've got three of them. We were doing it with just one for the for the first uh, year so I think we're gonna be okay there um, but charcoal for trading is a good idea though we are quite a ways away from getting any kind of trading happening so there's that to think of um, Jennifer wrote in with a tip that I had not heard of before and let's see here that is overlays Overlays, if you hit the always show occupied spaces, I'm not sure how that refers to showing blueprints. I guess once you start to lay it out, it becomes an occupied space. But I would always set something down. Did that work? That did not work. What just happened there? That's interesting. I want to build you. And F1. There we go. I would, you know, as you've seen, I put this guy into a void, or into a, a, another space in order to force these to stay on. Well, with that option right there, now it will stay on all the time whether I do it or not. So, come on, don't do that. So now I can do something like that and these will remain. So that's a great tip. Now I don't have to, uh, to force it to happen. Get rid of you. And what else is going on? I know we are getting real close to harvest time. So I don't want to add anything else labor laborer-wise just yet. I want to get the harvest taken care of. But the idea of more charcoal isn't a bad idea. So we could play with that. I don't know that I want it over here. And I don't want it within the housing, of course. But... And also, it's supplied out of here. So that is a, a considerable walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I might consider a charcoal like in this area. Not quite by the houses, but maybe, maybe this little void right in here would work. Or even in this area. That could do it. There'll be no housing near the farms. Okay, so that's a possibility. And I was watching Skibbit playing this game, and he did something that I had forgotten all about. Let's see if I can simulate that 
for you guys. Um, trade, he was dealing with the market stalls at the time. And I know F1, if you hit that one, you're putting in a house. It'll let you drop it and then manipulate things. But I hadn't thought of trying that for anything else. But right down there, F1, F2 to customize buildings lets you scroll through different models of different buildings. I don't know how many of the buildings offer that. I suppose if it, you see it's highlighted in yellow down below there, so if that highlights, then maybe that means there's more options available. Now I'm looking for... So that's the shape, and this one does the design, I see. So it's not just, you know, a, a list of four or five. So I'm changing the design on the front, even down in there. Cool. So I wonder what other buildings have different designs. I was asking if this was going, if the second one was going to be randomly different. Any cure, any possibility that this guy? Nope, that option isn't listed down there. Okay, so I'll have to try to remember to keep an eye on that. Um, also, it was brought up that we do need the town hall soon, which allows us to manipulate taxes and bring in income. Though we're still doing pretty good. We're we're at twelve hundred. I think we started at two thousand. So, the economy isn't that difficult if you take your time and just keep things balanced out. And the town hall allows you to do the other end of that balancing. So, I think we're going to be okay. Town hall goes in here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, Well-wise, we have a well there, well there. And I did get one in. I did not. Ah, that, that was the... The thing that I had done last episode and the one that I lost. And then I forgot to add that back in the second time around. Deja Vu is a YouTuber's enemy. It really is. Let's put that in again for me and first time for you guys. Well, goes here. The reason I brought that up was... What am I doing here? R&T. Is I want to eliminate everything that I can out of this... You can go right about there. Out of this area. So you can be demolished. You go in for the farm. And it's a quick little thing. So we could toss you in. And what are you? Oh, you're demolishing. Let's demolish you as well. Okay, so get the wells done. They do that real fast. I think I can turn this back up. We want to get this guy in so we can eliminate him. Housing is going to be the next big issue. I want to get more workers to be able to do what we're doing. And it's not so much a rush now to get it all done before that first winter. So I can go ahead and start dropping houses into these trees over here. So let's set a few more. Don't know that I like them touching so close like this. Yeah, I kind of like the, the spread out look better. Well is done, other well is done. Yeah, those are quickies. Next is going in the warehouse. And nails, how are we doing after those? few minutes we're already pretty much ahead on on that or at least maintaining okay we got three guys they're gonna do a good job this is emptied and we are filling it again all right so I think that's gonna be that's gonna work out just fine now we've got this happening soon so that's the conflict right now with putting in the charcoal but we are Still 3,000 ahead. It'll be close. Once we get this season done, the harvest done, then I'll put in the second one back over here. But while that's happening, and actually I'm going to kick the speed back down. That way I can just take my time over here. So I want to add one more row of houses back into here. And I don't want to go too deep because I want to put industry in here. And I want all these workers to be able to supply the uh, the jobs of the workers for that industry. These are going to take a while to build because there's so many trees in here. Warehouse is complete. Got too many irons in the fire at the moment. Let's deal with the warehouse real quick. Warehouse, I could auto-populate. I can we pause that before it actually does. But there's a lot more stuff available than I can actually fit in here. So let's do this manually. Um... A backlog of firewood, I think, would be a great thing. You can go into there. Let's put, oh, 2,000 in here. We can handle up to 10,000. 
So that's 5,000 per if you want to go that route. Iron definitely goes in here. Whenever we get some, it'd be nice to dump it somewhere. And I need to do that specifically to get this tent emptied. So iron goes in there as well. Um, nails, I don't think we're ever going to have a backlog of nails. Not until much later into the game. Thatch would work. That would work. So thatch going to here. Um, I believe it says somewhere that zero means... Let's see here. Is, doesn't zero mean infinite? Is that in the description? No. I read that somewhere. Now I don't see it. Huh. Somewhere there was a note when I was, before I started started the series I said if you leave it at zero then it will just keep filling until it runs out what building did I read that on was it in here I don't see it oh well it's somewhere in the game I know I read it but let's go ahead and just put in 2,000 even though we're never going to have 2,000 extra iron until we get out into there and start making our own iron and then it won't be deposited here anyway then we'll start manufacturing out there somewhere but for now iron goes in there thatch let's put a couple thousand thatch in reserve and i know we're going to need bark eventually let's go ahead and set just a small quantity and i don't need to store it We'll just leave it in there so it's available for that first building that does use it. I'm told the tannery is, is one possibility and and the ashery are possibilities for, for the bark. So we'll have some available while I'm thinking of it as a starter to get us going and then we'll ramp up production fully. But I don't need to store that in here. What else should go in here? Wheat we're going to be turning into flour and or chicken feed though I'd rather use a buckwheat for that about as fast as we can make it so I don't need to store that anywhere metal parts you rarely make enough of them to need to store them this early in the game they'll, they'll be used to, to create carts and repairs and plows fast as fast as you make it um <clears throat> and this these guys make wood so fast there just doesn't seem to be a need to think about that so I'm gonna stop there I think so Firewood. Where are you there? They make that so fast as well. Okay. I'm going to call that good, though I do need to hire somebody to get that process going. And I thought there was another selection, another button right here, like in here. I remember while I was doing that test game, I had put a second warehouse in out over here for some industrial buildings and I couldn't get them to move anything into that and then I noticed another set of buttons wild does it have to do with having two of them and them swapping back and forth wonder if more options are going to show up later because I'm a little confused right now so as we go things will explain themselves I'm sure okay so warehouse is taken care of for now these guys are going to take their time filling it up let's tell them who can work there and and do things there do this now by Carter that's something I think I brought up or was it going to bring up last time I don't know if I did by wagon I'm still confused about but by Carter is this guy over here the cart shed so the cart shed workers will perform deliveries of three types each of three types each of which you will you can enable or disable in the building properties so essentially it's a hauling service so we can tell them by carter to haul things to and from this building if we choose to go that route so in that case i may be going back and saying okay there are certain things that are a lot more important like you know, our bricks and our invent or industry out over here our iron our smeltering our what have you let's concentrate the carting on just those and let's turn them off of all the little things like buying foods from the houses or what have you so we'll be fine-tuning all of that one later but right now we're just kind of plopping things down and see what happens I'm trying to figure out just how I want to do the entrance to this area 
we are into August. The we've got okay. Answered a question from last time. Apparently, the labor potential is unlimited. Doesn't matter how many workers you have in there to start with. Okay. Last time we only had three. Could be that we only had three people, three bodies available. That's why it went to three. Or it could be that it's two per, so there's six. Two per field of this particular size. That sounds more logical. So if I had this guy up and running, not fallowed, that's right, I wanted to reverse all that. Let's do that real quick for next time so it doesn't get forgotten. Sunflowers first, buckwheat last. Okay, so if that had been active, this may have thrown in another four just for that one, and we'd be out to here. So we'll test that theory next round. But laborers are going to be busy for a while, so I'm not going to put the charcoal in. So let's get back to thinking about laying out houses. This is what's throwing me. I want, really wish that I had left that straight, but the thatchery was in the way because the next yard should be here but that then brings it too close to a potential charcoal over here so maybe we'll continue that angle there let's see what that looks like uh, rotate you around I'm always looking down at my keyboard because my mic is a blue yeti and it's heavy I've got this big old spring base on it so that uh, it, it absorbs shock. Any banging of the uh, of the, the desk doesn't transfer into the mic. And it's it blocks my view down there, so i got to kind of look around it to see where my keys are. So, <laughs> notice me doing this once in a while. That's what's up there. When I first started this channel, let's see, I want to spin myself around. When I first started this channel, I was on a plastic table with my mic on a mic stand sitting on the table with my keyboard on the table and as I would type keys it would go bang 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 into the mic and boy it was it was obnoxious so I, I made sure to my new setup that there is no way that I was transferring sounds how do you make this look right I'm really having a creative block here hmm Let's, okay, road-wise, okay, that's bugging me. If we hit the Alt, that goes away. Or we just hit the F1 and move them away. But yeah, I don't have to keep it locked in now. Although this one would have because of the trees in there. So do we do something like that? And kind of continue this flow in here. I want you a little bit wider so that I can get one of these arches in there just because we have them available and if we hit the corner here it allows us to take off on another tangent here though this angle is actually going to be like this hmm it is and if I kick this in I can get another wedge in here and another one in there I can get three in this space that means this needs to go further over okay so imagine a fence there. If I went straight, no, it needs to move in. It needs to flow. It needs to flow with the slope here. That's what I'm working with. That's what's got me off. Buildings need to kind of roll with the hillside. So you kind of want a curve that just works its way around, facing the river. That's what it feels like to me, which is what I'm kind of wanting to create here, which is why this just feels like it needs to be clear up in there, like this was. Hmm. I guess I'm going for two houses in this area then instead of three. Okay. So we could kick you off into there. Any reason to move this a little further down? Actually, that would work better because this is going to come off at an angle here. If we can stop this other one about there, we can then turn it to be parallel with this. I'm trying to think of future pathing. See what they eventually did to this area based upon where I left the fences. We can recover some of that. There were... Remember the pathway that was running through here? 
before I put these two houses in. It's already starting to turn back into, into sod all the way through. So we could recover some of this grass if we wanted to oh, put some decorations in here and kind of force their pathway off to an edge. We can get a little bit of grass back into a wedge or something. So you can kind of restore some of what they've turned to dirt and gravel. But how do I want this to look? Okay, Arch is going to go under there, so he comes this way a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to take some time figuring this out, because that's what I do. <laughs> Youth, I think, would sit toward the back there. So, in that case, we would rotate you pretty much parallel to there. And kick you in. Like so. And then a little bit off into there to give us a side yard. You're in the corner. I think that works. I think so. Now, can I choose the model of the house? Let me take a look at that next time. So hit enter there. And before I hit the F1, let me see if there is an F2. You guys are busy doing your thing here. Great. And how far did we get? We're st we still have somebody trying. Well, no, you just quit. <laughs> okay. And I'm not running fast, so charcoal we did run out. Okay. So it looks like we do need an alternate pile. With one blacksmith, we would never run out. But with three, I can see they are probably outpacing. So, and, and with so limited laborers, we're, we're taking turns when we're going to work with charcoal. So if we had a second one, then yeah, they can be alternating back and forth. Okay, I get that. Um, so the next house, what happens if... Just F1. Okay. So I can't F2 to choose the house model first and then F1 to set the where it's going to land. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. So we'll F1 you, and we're going to make this one smaller in here, so that at this point, the, the next house will kick the road over. How far, though? We've got somebody moving in. I just noticed there's a clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Yep, I just moved into that house. Um... That gets wider than the other one. I think that will be fine. We already have a well in here. Let's go something like that. Bring you down into there. But we don't always have to have the fence lines matching. It does make it easier for whatever we're going to do on the back side to have a nice even run. But we could do something like this. And... You could be turned toward the front a little bit and tuck you against a fence there. Control R, something like that. You can get around easily. So is that how I want to do that? Next one, I would want you to be... Let's see, that's our limit actually right over there, not the well. So you need to go about here and go that way. So you need to move in just a little bit further. You could go out this way a little bit further too. You could. And then straight with that one. Looks something like that. Okay. Let's grab you and rotate you around a bit. If I get you there, you can use all three sides pretty easily. I think so. All right. Um, there's red. House should be within. Okay. Let's grab you. Move you in just a little bit. There we go. All right. Set you. And one more here. Maybe two more. We'll get past the well and see what it looks like. Maybe we'll have a fence heading like so and just kind of finish off this area. So we get probably four houses in there. Um, we're down to these guys. Okay, go ahead and kick the speed up a bit. See if we can get 
into winter by the end of this episode. I'm not going to race through this series. I'm going to take my time. This one is a lot of fun. I really enjoy Ostrov. It's been a long time since I've, I've played it. But now that I'm back into it, it's, it's bringing back good vibes. <laughs> Third house. You, like so, and F1. Build the town hall. Yep. Just noticed that corner up there. Yep. You go something like that. You could go a little bit further. And I'm thinking to that corner of that fence line over there. Probably like that. You would come in. You would... I guess you're going to have to turn if we're going to make this work. We might not be able to make it work. Okay, so if we do, you're going to have to come at least to there to give me a 90. Like so. So pathways like that. Archway in here. Oh, I see. We could line it up with what we've done over there. That would look better aesthetically from a, a bird's eye view. Yeah, so that should have been moved in just a little bit. Okay, so we can do something like that. Now you do what? How do you interact with the next house? I think the next house ends about here. So we're going to be kind of a wedge, kind of a triangle shape. Um, can I give you any more room? How about just a little more room there? Then you need to come into... Let's see. Are you a little bit like that? There. And that means that you then head into there. That puts you in the corner. And you can get around like that. You can get around like that. You're in there. I think that's a house. Okay. Uh, I want to put one more in, but what else is happening around here? So we are making lots of flour. You've got no more flour in reserve. Now the windmill is going to be one worker that I can keep uh, uh, giving a different job back and forth. Because, well, we did harvest though. Oh, we've got lots of wheat waiting. Okay, we harvested. Potatoes are starting to show their their lifespan here running out. We have potatoes in here. This one's almost run out. Now, one thing I don't know, when you send things to the trader like potatoes, tell them I want, send me 150 potatoes to trade. Will they grab the 120 that is the oldest first? Or will they grab the 380 that are the closest to the trader? It'd be great if they could. If we can get rid of the rotten ones first. <laughs> oh, pity the city that trades with us. Okay, so charcoal-wise, we have another load going. We have done our harvesting. So let's set in that other charcoal. And I was... Actually, there used to be a pathway here. When I started the game there was a much more prominent pathway here so this is how quickly the grass grows back this is the pathway that the thatcher was taking down to here and it is almost gone where did she used to come out it was deeper in like this so that pathway is gone now okay so that was the idea of putting it back there is right along a a nice even path and thought oh great that's like it's meant to be there but I'll put it back in there anyway so you are there charcoals right here and housing wise this should be far enough away to not influence even if I continue on out here with housing so yeah I think it's a good spot so back in here and I like the road that was there that seemed to be a good angle you can kind of see a little bit of it right there too. Good angle down the hillside. So let's influence that again. Do we kill it by just dropping it right in the road? Like it's meant to go right to that point? Or do we give them the ability to walk in front of this and continue on to whatever we're going to do next down there? 
For that matter, do we do a little bit deeper into there? I kind of like to leave those trees. And normally you wouldn't be burning charcoal under a bunch of evergreen branches either. <laughs> so let's just do something like that. And we could touch there. They can walk around that. Sure. Well, close to it. We'll do something like that. All right. And let's move you. That's right. Those are insta builds. Okay. So now that we have more options available, I do want to use this to manipulate laborers a little bit. That was brought up in the comments as well that what I had done last time of upping the the wages for this particular job would help to convince them to do this one first rather than hauling lumber to build more carts or something like that. But... And the farm is also another good candidate for doing something like that just to make sure that the planting and the harvesting gets done but we're not big enough to need to worry about that too much charcoal is probably the only thing that's an issue and now that we've got the ability to alternate back and forth i'm even questioning that if we're gonna have twice as much charcoal sitting there and they're already working on it let's who are you okay let's go ahead and set that there and in case I didn't before, we'll do that. And this one? Yeah. Let's take that back down. Let's wait until we actually need it. Okay. Now with twice as much ability, twice as much capacity, I think we're going to be fine. Okay. So, granary. Oh, the big one's done. Great. So if I were to auto-fill you, let's grab a worker who is not hauling trees on their shoulders. <laughs> um, that's good. And I'll check all the boxes here till I fine-tune that later. <clears throat> what was I going to say? If I were to hit automatically from production, what comes in? Potatoes, buckwheat, sunflower, and wheat. Okay. Wheat works great. We're stored here. Flour didn't go in. Interesting. Flour didn't go in. I would have thought it would because we produce it. Is it because we don't have any? Ah, that might be what happened. Zero. No. What's with that? Why the red zero? Who knows the answer to that one? I have seen that before. Did I see it in here? I did not. And we have been bringing a lot of stuff in. Good. In fact, that building is gone. Ah, okay. But what is with the red zero on, on the flower? If I were to... Laborers are bringing all kinds of things over. If I were to say 2,000 flower... And there it went to black. Okay. I'm not sure I get the logic of that one just yet, but we'll go for it. Anything new to add here? Anything new to add here? No. Okay. And flower there is zero because I didn't give it a number. That must. That's where I saw it before. Okay. In that case, I can turn you off. We'll just keep this for items we're buying from our citizens. And this will be for our own production. So what other options do we have? Uh, all the items that are bought from the citizens. Okay, so we could use this storage space, which is 20,000 storage versus 10,000 storage, to do a few more items. That's five, so it does 10 instead of eight. I wish it did more. I wish I could scroll this list a little bit. And we can haul... We can... Uh, store all of their items as well if we choose to okay well that's good that's done uh what else what are the loose ends are about so we are now working on a fishing dock next 
Is that the best, or do I want to get into the trader next? The trader is going to lock us up for good. So, I mean, once we hit this one, we've got to come up with 466 nails. So nail-wise, where are we now? We are still using it as fast as we're making it. Okay. But... Hmm. I wasn't going to put... I talked about it, but I decided not to put another smithy in. Because I figured three blacksmiths would be able to maintain, and I really thought that they would. Huh. Do I spend more nails to make a place that makes more nails? That's what I'm wondering about at the moment. Hmm. Nails are apparently going to be our our limiting factor. They really are. I don't remember seeing the ability to buy nails in the trader. I might be wrong, but it's going to be a long time before I can find out. <laughs> We're not going to be able to build a trader. Boy, do I build another one of these. I guess I do. Or at least I build one and maybe only use it once in a while. Turn it, you know, mothball it later when we get ahead of the curve again. Maybe that's a thing. We got charcoal being produced here. We got charcoal being produced here. So it needs to be around one of these, just efficiency wise. Uh, metal is stored here and its parts are used pretty much all in here. So somewhere in this area, you're going to be the salt work someday. I don't know what I want to do in here. It feels like it needs to be its own special something. If we're going to store sunflower seed here, right there, then we should get the sunflower oil building in this area. Maybe that's what goes in here. Hmm. I could go a little deeper into here with a blacksmith. That's a, let's, let's see what that looks like. So you, blacksmith, is smithy. There you are. Now, of course, we have the issue of the slope, and it's hard to put a building on a slope. As you rotate it around, sometimes it, that corrects it. Meaning, we are... Let me get out here out of the trees. We are sinking the backside into the ground pretty significantly compared to over here especially when it is rotated like this now we have a whole bunch of the buildings in the ground but if you get it parallel with the slope it's easier to find a spot that it will accept it versus this it'll never accept it this way so working with the slope helps out so in here we can do it if we want to we could put it right in here. Either facing down or facing up. Yeah. Which I think it'd make more sense facing this area. I think that's the spot right there. It allows that road to move in front of all three buildings and just flow right into it. So, you're going there, and, yeah, let's kick you in ahead of the trader. So you will help take up the slack nail-wise before we start putting the trader in. We still have plenty of iron available, so the trader isn't that crucial yet. By probably year three, you start getting more and more desperate for iron. But we're still pretty early on, so you are short 127 nails. Okay, okay, we'll move you in next. <laughs> uh, we got a couple trees to take down anyway, but that will give the foresters something to work on. Okay, so with that, we've got... Burning is complete. We've got lots of charcoal. Soon we will have laborers moving that charcoal. You guys have enough charcoal to be working on making nails. I could limit the metal parts, but we need to also maintain our, 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 you know, whatever else. So I do, I don't want to shut down metal parts. They don't make that many metal parts. It, it, metal parts seem to come in pretty slow as it is, so I don't want to get behind the curve of that when I do get into the next industry buildings and want to throw more carts up real quick and then find out that I can't. All right, so we have got 
One, two, three. One more house over in here. How to lay that one out. And I'm pretty sure I still want the pathway coming from that direction. Though the angle's going to be kind of off from this one. We could do what we did here. This, These houses access from this side. These houses from this side. We could access this from a di another direction. Let's just hit F1 and see what happens here. So this is stuck on this plane. But we could come out to all the way to here and get the back side of whatever's going on this side with that. Okay, so you're going to parallel this area. And I think by quite a bit. Because what I really wanted was for this to open up into a, an industry area. So that kind of feels like a good ending, an end cap. And then whatever happens here will take off in that direction and either access from here or out over here. Hmm. Letting this sink in. Is there, any, um, is there anything I'd do differently? So our distance is actually right there. I did that. That feels better. It feels like we're getting too wide on this pathway. And I could stick a tree right in there. Which allows me to get that into what feels like a, a more manageable pathway. Okay. We are widening up. I wish I could leave this and go and pop in this guy. And then come back to it. But I'm pretty sure that fits. Okay. We liking that? I think so. Oh, house. How do I want this house to work? So we've got another house that's going to go here. But you're pretty much the end. So do we face you into... Probably like so. Put you to the back and even touch on the back. So control, it's hard to hit control with your pinky and, and hit the T as well. That's a stretch. So if we go there, I think that works. Kind of facing out over here. This one is too. That one I probably should have done differently. It looks odd now. All right, we'll set you in. Got four houses going in. And in regard to how that works, I want trading dock. Let's go for the land trader first. Pause you. And I don't... Let's kick you to the back end. The other fishing dock to the back end. And what do I do with salt? I think I'm going to buy the first round of salt. That's probably going to be a pretty significant, yeah, 650 nails. So that guy, he's, he's a big one. We'll kick him off into the back end. Let's get some more workers in first. Even the trading can wait a little bit longer. Let's get some more people in. Let's get another kind of food variety in and the ability to... Where's the... The boatyard, the ability to make the fish work, and the smithy in. Okay, I think that's our order. Kick the speed back up, and... Oh, what happens long term? Now, one thing about this map is we've got things spread out quite a bit. Stone's going to come from here, iron from... No, limestone. Iron from here, and stone from here. That's a lot of bridges. And the bridge we could lay in at this point. Not build it right now, but we could lay it in just to see it. I didn't think about that. I didn't. Ah. That's the boatyard. You're going away. I want to... I'll have to remember the boatyard to put it back in, but... I think... Okay, bridge, you are where? Trade and transport. That sounds logical. 
I'd like to make sure that I can get from here to here. Yeah. And I did find once you got to be careful about bridges. The game will now try to manipulate the terrain for you. If you start too low and work your way up, so if we started from here, inaccessible. Ah, it won't let me. But if we started from a low spot and moved to a high spot, it will build an earthen mound to land on to get our bridge somewhat level and then you have to drop down this mound so you want to start from you want to want to really play with getting things as level as you can pathway comes down somewhere in there let's start up just a little bit and kick it into here there we go so that we flow somewhat straight like Someone competent, with at least a little competency, did a decent job there. Although now I'm far enough away I can't tell. Let me do it the other way. No, I still can't tell. There? There we go. How we're going to land. Okay, you're straight with my monitor. Yeah, it is hard to deal with the perspective. I want to be in the grass a little bit. I think that's straight. How do we look? Nope, not even close. But, well, we're close enough. I want that to land right in that little group right there, that group of four. So let's do that one more time. There. And that little group of four. So somewhere in there. How's that look? A little bit off the other direction, but I'm going to call that good. It will do. Alright, so that's a lot of nails. There's almost 800 nails and almost 40,000 wood to put that bridge in. So bridges are costly. It would be a lot cheaper to just run right across there. But... I want to make it look just right. What was that I took out? I thought it was the boat yard. Where's the boat? Or the, uh, yeah, where's the trading dock? There you are. Why couldn't I find you? So trading dock is going to be there. We've got a fishing dock here. Boats were over here. Right there, boat yard. There we go. So, it could go in a place like this. I mean, it would give us a, a row of buildings, make it look like a busy shoreline. What do we think of that? We're kind of close to that trader. If I had known that, I would have taken the trader. Well, I still can take the trader up a little bit. Build the boats, use the boats. I could squeeze you in over here. What's that look like? front of the building wise pathway wise it puts kind of a road along the front of this this one was what another fishing dock okay so for the most part that path is just going to do this they're not they don't, they don't interact with each other so that's not going to force the road sideways Boatyard there does what? It just fills in a gap. Once they are done building the boats, we'll probably just mothball it until we need boat repairs. So either way, I'm going to put him in there to fill this area out. And then I'm going to move you back just a little bit. So toss you. Trade is this one. You're that guy. You're... <laughs> The exact rotation you you were before. That's interesting. Okay, uneven terrain. If I were to give you just a little tweak here or there. Yeah, something like that. S second smithy is done. Let's go work on that next. Rotate you like so. And I kick you in. There's my spot. 
Can I get... I can get one right there, too. Okay, we'll do that. If I want to alter that, I still can. There's, it's going to be a while before we build it. What was that, Smithy? Let's throw a few more jobs into here. First of all, laborers have a ball. Um, right there. Start filling up all of that charcoal for me. And workers, we'll put, we'll put three in for now. That's going to hurt the economy, I know that. Uh, economy at this point is what? Uh, population. We've got no unemployment. Well, yeah, nobody that doesn't have a job. That's what that means. So I'm going to have to, except for this guy. I guess once he's done laboring. Hmm. Hopefully he'll grab that job get that going. I could pull off one more builder, and since we have so few nails, it makes sense. So we'll put the builder into here as well. We get two blacksmiths going. And as they get to the houses, they will... You are the fishing dock. You're under construction. Let's get a house in first. We're probably not going to get fishing in this year anyway. So we'll do that, then we'll do that. Yeah, we'll get a little more labor in first. Then we'll get fishing going, and we will then get some more labor, then we'll get trading going. Okay, I think that's a plan. We are October. Snow's going to hit in a month. We are just ever so slightly ahead in nails at the moment. Charcoal-wise, now, there are things to pull down in here that I don't really ever look at. Here's all of our town's inventory. So I could go here, um, I, or I could not. That Either it doesn't list charcoal, or, or there is no charcoal. There is no charcoal. Well, there's charcoal in a building, but there's no charcoal out and about. Okay, can I put charcoal in here? Cannot. Is it because we don't have any? Or is it because it's not a thing? That I don't know. When you don't have anything in a certain item in the economy, I think it doesn't list it as an option. Um, so as to not confuse a new player who starts stocking a whole bunch of things that they don't realize isn't going to be even in the game till much later on. So you just matter of waiting for that to get done, then you're up and running again. Oh, everyone just stole all the charcoal. That's what's going on. Okay. So, we're going to clean out the last of our iron. Yep, zero. So, is that... You are iron. Charcoal and iron look very similar in this game. Okay, so the charcoal, they've got a much grayer, but in real life, charcoal is almost black. So, that feels like charcoal right there. <laughs> so, you are done. Everyone's going to start hauling charcoal like crazy to... Hopefully, you guys will too. Taking a rest, going to work. They should be hauling supplies. So, workers by hand, workers by cart. Laborers by hand, laborers by cart. So those are all the different choices for supplying your resources to your building. So they are going to as well. So if there are no carts available, no, nope, they're all going to grab carts. Boom. Which is why when we get other industry going, we want to make sure we have the ability to throw in carts real quick. Which is why I don't want to stop building the metal parts. Alright, so horseshoe-wise, I have never built the stable. So whoever knows how the stable works, why don't you toss some, some tips in the com comments about that. What do you use the horses for? Do they take the place of the oxen? Or are they used, I assume they're used for wagons. So does that mean that we have a wagon building like we... Yeah, wagon shed. Okay. Car shed, wagon shed. These weren't here when I first played. A lot of these are additions since then. We've had five rounds of updates that have come in since I played back in Alpha 1. So I've not dealt with cart sheds or wagon sheds before. So the horses must run the, the wagons and people run the carts. Okay. Yeah, one... One uh, human power and one horsepower. Um, what else is there to do today? We're kind of in a waiting game right at the moment. Just sit back and watch things happen. Got you planned out. You're going in, and you're going to go in next. And 
trees coming down. That's kind of what we're waiting for. So you are back over here. Doesn't really matter which one of those goes in. I could kick you in over there just to get you happening. I could. I've got all the clay. All the nails too. Everything's there except wood and thatch. So that's just waiting for enough builders. So let's go ahead and up this as far as new people moving into town. Make sure they grab those jobs. Um, nails at the moment, 127. And nails over here, five, uh, 60. Okay. So... Hmm. Debating whether to take one person out of each and get those nails being used quicker. First one that takes a break. Making metal parts. Supplying resources. Supplying resources. So I wonder how many rounds of jobs they do before they go back home and take a break. Take a break. That reminds me... Something I don't think about while I'm playing very often. Benches. Lots of comments reminding me to put in benches. <laughs> Austrivians love their benches. And I like the bigger benches better. They seem to show up a little bit more. Um, let's put a couple next to each other so they can have more of a conversation. And it seems like there should be a bench at the well Kind of the the watering hole yeah so that goes over there and yeah they, they do take a break and they usually head home to do that unless you give them a place to take a rest in between and maybe that's what this is for a tree in there and trees and decorations are something i haven't spent much time with at all so we could do that and drop in some kind of a skinny tree now be careful about trees next to branches uh, next to next to benches i did that in my little play test place not places occupied you go away snow's coming and as the trees grow up they just fill in and take over that poor little bench so let's go with a small bench this particular tree won't this one will behave itself but some of these trees you know as they're growing up they really have quite a, a, a diameter around them, a circumference. So careful about putting in a bench and then dropping tree, tree, tree. Pretty soon you're only going to see just that tiny little middle part of the bench and everything else is going to be buried. All right, so you guys are doing your thing. We are working on a house. That other tree went down. So we just have two houses now with trees on them. And we have the trader with trees. What are you? You're the salt works. So eventually they're going to do that. In this area, I'm thinking orchards through here and we'll go ahead and let them take out some of the trees over here and for that I might put in another um, forestry maybe down in here to deal with taking out trees in larger quantities as the town expands into the forest because these guys right here you know they can only do so much so need to give them a hand I could hire two more people or I could spread them out these guys working on trees over here, these guys working on trees over here, and and give them less walk time. So I think that's probably the route to go there. More benches. Hmm. Getting hard to see with it being winter time. So I think in between episodes I'll kind of wander around and take my time figuring out where logically people would want to sit down and take a break somewhere and set up some benches that look good rather than trying to figure it out on the fly like this but with that we did get our second charcoal going a second smithy going i wasn't going to do that but yeah let's just let that run for a while and some more plans for the future so i think we will call that done here next episode we'll probably set the town hall next episode that needs to be done so that's something to think about. What do you guys usually do with the campfire? I don't believe that is something we can ever put back in. So I've heard people saying that they hang on to the campfire just because it's you're never going to get it back. But, yeah, not in the decorations. So how do you design a park around that? What do you do? That's typically where I would put the town hall, kind of right where the camp used to be. Hmm. We have such a huge map. 
feels like the town hall and, and the main city should be over here eventually but i don't don't want to wait that long for the town hall in and you can't delete and remove and, and relocate the town hall so where you drop it at the beginning is where it ends up even though this is just the beginning of the entire map this is a big map we're only using that little part so this will be the oldest section of town is this really going to be the central location where you put the town hall so there is an issue that you got to work through too so leave comments any thoughts corrections advice if not for me even advice for others that go through the comments later you know a year from now looking at this series and saying oh he didn't cover that but somebody mentioned in the comments and boy now i know how to do it that's always good so thanks for watching guys catch you next time Bye bye